Hello Internet! Well, today I'm going to show you exactly the process that I, as well as most advertising executives, go through whenever they are trying to create marketing and advertising materials. To start off, the first step in advertising is to study the product you're advertising, because the more you know about it, the more likely you are to come up with a big idea for selling it, obviously. Study the advertising of your competitors as well, and see what they are doing that is giving them success and what things they may be doing that is hindering their success. Find out what consumers think of your product and why they would buy it. There is a lot that goes into the personality of a product that most people don't really look into whenever they're first creating a brand. Name, obviously, your packaging, your price, the style of your ads, and the nature of the product. What you have to understand is when somebody makes a purchase, 90% of what they are actually purchasing is the marketing behind the product, not necessarily the utility of the product itself. So I often talk to business owners that say they don't need to market. This flies right in the face of that because it's been proven countless numbers of times that people buy the marketing. So without marketing, you in essence have nothing to sell. This is why most copywriters fail. They try to use clever wordplay, puns, and cute copy that doesn't make for good headlines that, are, that will pull somebody down into the content, which ultimately sells a person. When you make a purchase, ask yourself, do you want to be amused or do you just want a quality product at a great price? This is why clever wordplay, while it might make you laugh, doesn't ultimately make you want to buy the product. We are not in the business also of being original, especially if you're a small business. You do not have the time, the money, wherewithal, or uh, background to create fabulous things that are creative. What you want to do instead is reuse that in which you know already works. And basically you find that just by looking at what competitors are doing again and what other uh, marketers are doing and receiving great success with. Take what works and apply it to your own product in a way that's compelling, memorable, and persuasive. In beginning the creating of a marketing brand, you want to get all of the material possible related to the product, including your competitors' ads, brochures, catalogs, articles, market research letters, uh, illustrations, photos, everything. And you just want to pile that all in front of you. Then what you want to do with your own products is sit down and first off write out the features for the product or service that you sell. After you're done writing down the features, then next to those features you want to write down the benefits. So for example, a feature of a car for example might be that it gets 36 miles to a gallon. The benefit is you save money on fuel. So you have to think in that mindset, you have to write every single thing down. Then you have to ask what benefit is the most important. Write that down. Then you have to ask how do you differ from your competitors? What attributes can be stressed that have not been stressed by your competitors? Again, you wouldn't be able to answer all these questions unless you had all of your competitors' marketing material in front of you. Ask what problem does the product or service solve? How does the product work? How long will the product last? How economical is the product? How easy is it to use? Who has bought the product and what do they say about it? You want to write down answers to every one of these questions. This is the process. The whole goal here is by writing all this information down, you will at some point have a, what they refer to as a aha moment and that is where you're going to get your great ideas for marketing. Again, ask what options are available, what service and support do you offer, and is the product guaranteed? Then you want to ask questions about your customers. Even ask your customers themselves if you can. You have to ask who is your customer, what does the product do for them, why do they need the product, why do they need it now, very specifically, what is the customer's main concern when buying this product or a type of product. What will motivate the buyer to buy, with an emphasis on the word now? Does the ad have to appeal to more than just the direct buyer? 
Determine the objective of your copy. Is it just to generate inquiries? Answer inquiries. Generate traffic, either by telephone, website, what have you. Just to stay in touch. Is this a marketing tool that you're going to use in person? Is it going to generate sales just purely on its own? Is it going to be used to qualify prospects, show new ideas, or just build recognition? Most major corporations just need to build recognition, continue building it, and stay in touch. That is why their marketing is going to be completely different than yours. Yours is to drive traffic. They already got the traffic, they just want to maintain it. Hence, they just want to stay in touch, make you laugh, and keep you coming back. Ads that you create must follow these following steps. They must first capture the prospect's attention. You have to figure out how you're going to do that. If you answered all those questions from the previous frames, I bet you're having some ideas right now. Then you want to maintain the prospect's interest. How are you going to do that? Then you want to move the prospect to a favorable action, either to contact you or buy a product. There is little sales value in fine writing. A valid argument presented in plain, blunt, easy to understand language will sway a reader more than fancy copy that makes them giggle. Make sure your message matters to your customers because five times as many people read headlines as read the body copy. So you have to make sure that your headline above all is dynamite. People read the headline first when they see an advertisement, then they look at the illustration, then they look at any copy that explains the illustration, then they move on to subheads, and then finally read your copy. Headlines which work best are those which promise the reader a benefit from reading your entire article. Here's some quick 19 rules for writing headlines. Make your headline suggest to the reader that there is something they want. Get news into your headline. Avoid headlines that merely provoke curiosity. Avoid headlines that paint a gloomy picture. Suggest in your headline that here is a quick and easy way for the readers to get something they want. What argument would you make, the writer, to part with the good money that you have in your pocket? You have to constantly be thinking that. What do I write here? that would actually make me want to buy this product or this service. Do not make your headline so short that it fails to fully persuade. Avoid headlines that sound like they should be carved into a monument, some like unusual times, unusual values, it's boring, don't do it. Avoid headlines that simply makes people say, oh, how clever. Avoid meaningless headlines, and there's plenty of them. Suggest in a headline that the copy contains useful information. Get the big point of your advertisement into your headline. Headlines that simply state a fact are not effective. Avoid headlines that require thought. Remember, keep it simple. Include your brand name in the headline. If your advertising is named at a small group of people, for example, people with asthma or bed wounders, address them. Put your headline in quotes to get a 28% recall and avoid superlatives such as we are the best. Here are some effective words you can use in headlines. So of course, you can hit pause, copy these down, copy all the questions down, or you can go to my website. All this is down there in text. Great headlines on why they worked. How a full stunt made me a star salesman. This was a. These were all headlines that made people a lot of money, and you can see here why it was successful. What's wrong in this picture? Dynamite forces somebody to look at the illustration, be drawn into it and then be rewarded with finding out if they were right or not. How I improved my memory in one evening. Give me five days and I'll give you a magnetic personality. Let me prove it free. Announcing a new course and service for men and women who want to be independent in the next five years. Wanted your service as a high paid real estate specialist. And finally, I gambled a postage stamp of $135,840 in two years. These are all headlines that made people a lot of money. Put them here as an example. You see further information at my website. For example, I have the top 50 highest return on investment advertisements of all time. Thank you for your time. Please leave a comment below and please write this article if you found it useful. Thank you.